Okay, uh, June, tw uh, July 12th, meeting of the Lakeville Cemetery Commission will now come to order. Commissioners present are uh, Emery Oral and Ken Upper, as well as our volunteer, Joan Morton, taking notes. And for the record, um, your Commissioner Beal is uh, absent. Commissioner Beal is absent. He's just got out of the hospital. He's recovered. Thank you. Okay, on the minutes, let me review the minutes. From the small meeting room. You want to say that? Yeah. Oh. Right. We're recording with the state to speak out. Uh, she, uh, okay. All right. The meeting was called to order at 10.34 a.m. by Chairman Oral in a small meeting room at the Lakeville Public Library. Library. Members present, Commissioners Oral, Upham, and Beal. Guests. Uh, the former commissioner? That's me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Brianna Donahue. The meeting was recorded by Lake Camp. The agenda was taken out of order to hear the presentation of Brianna Donahue. She presented her ideas for cemetery uh, spaces for cremation burials and the public like setting if Ladle Lakeville decided to purchase the Lakeville's Country Club golf course. The commission thanked her for her presentation, but felt that there was no need for more cemetery spaces at this time. Meetings of the May 10th to 22 meeting were read and approved. And the old business, Phoebe Turner's table stone, the legs were removed were brownstone. Chairman Oral researched brownstone and granite and located a place in Newport Mass that has brownstone. He also located a place on Mass that has antique stone. We need to source brownstone legs. The original stone broke and needs to be repaired. Then it will be used as a base to attach to the legs. The newer one will be placed on top. Tabled until the next meeting to do more research on brownstone. Price increases. Prices need to be increased, but done incrementally, not all at once in one year. Commissioner Upham will compare our prices to other local cemeteries and put together a compensation list. And the new business cemetery assignments were reviewed. Commissioner will check only active cemeteries once a month. And that is Chairman Arnold takes Haskins and Clark Cemetery, Commissioner Upham, Precinct, Thompson, and Veterans. Commissioner Beale, Strobridge. Commissioner Beale stated he will not check his cemeteries this month because of illness. A new form has been, uh, that's not in the minutes, but I said it, <laughs> new form, has been made and will be left at grave sites with violations for items left on plots or plantings outside of rules and regulations. A set of rules and regulations will also be left. The farm form will have the plot owner's name, date, from what's placed on the graveyard, gravesite, and the violation. The family will have one month to rectify the situation, or action will be taken at the discretion of the cemetery commission. Cemeteries will be checked monthly from March through September for such violations. Item number three on new fiscal year. Sorry. Uh, 
The new fiscal year starts July 20, July 1st. Ward Cemetery needs a list of fence repair work. The next meeting will be on July 12th at 10.30 a.m. The meeting was adjourned at 11, 11 a.m. or 11.17. I make a motion we accept Mr. Minutes. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Uh, may I ask that you amend the meeting minutes from that meeting to say that Lake Cam did not record? Okay, uh, right. You want me to take that out even though they recorded it, but you didn't get the recording? Correct. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We're going back. Uh, make a motion that we accept the minutes as read. As amended. As amended. As amended. Sorry about that. I'll second the motion. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Okay. Then we've got the minutes. Now we can talk about Evie Stone. All business? Yeah. Uh, I called the guy in Newport and he has a stone yard where the brownstone is. He tittered, which is a little easier to get to. Yeah, easy. And what he has are steps. And they're generally six inches by 12 inches. So we would have to slice them in half somehow to find someone. Well, you know, how much? $150 a foot, and they run about two feet long. And how much do we need? We need, uh, we need three pieces. We get six legs out of three pieces. No, we, yeah, we get six, six legs out of three pieces. Six out of three. We need six legs, so three pieces. Yes. give us six legs. That's right. So the total would be? $900 plus uh, the cost of cutting them in half. Can we get a quote from him? I can. Yeah, and then we can have that definitively. Yeah. Because if we just say that he's going to do it and something happens, I didn't say that to you. you know? <laughs> I know. I know how people are. Okay, so I guess my question would be now, and you probably already have done it, who is going to be installing it? I don't know. First, we have to find the brown stone. First, we have to find the brownstone uh, that we'll find, I know, whether it's Rex or Bonico or whoever. Bonico, or, I don't know, because you need a mason, right? Oh, yeah. I have a mason. Okay. Who did the, uh, I had a mason who did the veteran cemetery, did the walkways, the posts. You know, uh -huh. Very reasonable. Okay, good. I can't believe it. What happened? I don't know. So uh, the only thing about this brownstone is that it's from Upper New York State. Any brownstone that's quarried in Connecticut or Rhode Island breaks apart. Okay. And erodes like like we did before. Like okay. did before. So this is a stronger, harder brownstone. It's not. Absolutely authentic because it's not replacing exactly right. what was there. But it will look correct. Right. It'll look right and it'll last longer. Longer than us. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, funny. Just up and down. Uh, I volunteer to contact the Mason. And Joan said she would contact other people too. Okay. And what we need, I think, do we have a diagram of what we want it to look like? Uh, no, I can draw one up. Okay. Because we're going to need that. Whoever we're going to give this to, I'll say, do you have a diagram? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. Well, I think they want to go out and look at it and see how, it, how it's going to look. That's fine. Before they came up, Uncle Sam is checking. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> uh, okay, well, uh, then we'll uh, table this until uh, we do a little more research. But if you like to the you send that diagram. Yeah, I'll take it by email, right? You take yours by email. Mm -hmm. And then okay. we'll print them all. Yeah. 
and then we'll give it to the people that we might want to do yeah. it. Yeah, and we got to go look at the stall and see. Right. There we do. Yes. Yeah. And get a quote. And then once we get that, we'll pass it on to you, and you'll be heading up for whoever we find. Okay. Yeah. All right. What was the third thing on our agenda? Um, prices. Prices. Yeah. Yes. No. Yes. Went over that whole list that I showed you before in all the uh, different cemeteries. And I came up with just one idea for your consideration. I believe that we are charging enough for the cremation rates as 300. Okay. Even though some are charging 500, it's only an hour work. Yeah. And to charge some of these people that, are, like myself, were older. Can we really afford you know, to raise prices for these people? So I like to leave that alone. I agree. Uh, the second thing is the only problem that we're having on prices is that because of the gas and diesel fuel and all the rest of the things, Chris and uh, the other two uh, grave diggers are saying the same thing, our costs are going up. So right now we are paying them 850 for an old thing. Uh -huh. I would like to raise that to what they want. They want a thousand. Yeah. So I like to put a proposal. I can make a, a proposal that we increase the 850 price on openings, only that one, to a thousand. I and I leave totally everything agree. else. Leave everything I totally else. agree. And we should probably do that right away so that we can uh, pay these guys what they yeah. want. Well, what's happening now is that. The well, it's been happening now for the last oh, eight months, I guess. That when they do an opening, the uh, funeral director says, You want us to write a check to him, mm -hmm. and we're doing that. And the reason we're doing it is that if the funeral director takes the money from the uh, people themselves, we don't pay it out of our funds, yeah. Because anytime we take money, whether it's for an opening or whatever, it comes out of our budget. Yeah. So when they give that money directly to the grave digger, doesn't involve us. Doesn't involve us. I know because a few years ago we discussed the fact that we were paying the, yeah. the grave digger and then we never got the money back. Right. Our budget goes. So our budget was going down incrementally by, by us paying the grave digger. So if the funeral director gets the money, then we're out of the loop and it doesn't right. take money from the cemetery commission. And the only thing we're ensuring is that after that's done, then we still get our check for $50. Yeah. And that's for the recording fee. Recording fee. And the $300 for perpetual care. Right, right. All right. Would you like to make a motion that we can get? Yeah. That's that right away. Did I, did I make a motion? You didn't. Okay. I'd like to make a motion that we raise the present opening fee. From eight hundred fifty dollars to one thousand dollars. I will second that. All those in favor? All right. Aye. Right. Now, as far as raising prices on the other portions, I'm not comfortable making a decision without Fred because I know he's very much an advocate for the people of the town. Yeah. And uh, we don't need to. You want to just hold that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so the on. motion is to raise the grave digger fee, but but wait on the rest. Yes. Okay. Wait until for, and until Fred is here. Yeah, until Fred is here, we need his input, I believe. Okay. And once that's approved, that you have to send to you as a chairman have to send to the board of selectmen. Yeah. Uh -huh. On such a such a meeting, we have decided to raise the following fee. Yeah. And then they approve it, and then it goes into the newspaper, uh, the local newspaper. Which is now what the standard times I think they will use this. No, we don't do that one. We don't do standard times. We only do this one here. There isn't one here now. Lake will use as a standard. Oh my goodness. Oh, there okay. is no there is no little more paper anymore. Oh, okay. or we used to call it the substandard times. Yeah, substandard it's, it's the only yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what Lake will use as now. <laughs> oh, God. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, so the sanitize. Because once the price is raised, you have to notify the public accordingly. 
you know, they charged me a thousand. Chris charged me a thousand last year for my open my live stream. Oh, isn't that interesting? Yeah. Well, of course, he had to he had to take down rod, take out rods right. so they could get in and stuff. I suppose. Yeah, the one we just had this weekend. I told you about that. That was cool. He brought his excavator in, and he, I've been telling him, when you use that excavator, you know that. The legs. And when you stop moving the excavator with those tracks, yeah. you dig up everything. So he was very good this time. He did a fantastic good. job. Good. Great to clean and everything. Great. Excellent. Okay, can I make my report on the cemetery? Absolutely. Okay, so the Veterans Cemetery is fine. Uh, it's just been cut again. So this month so far has been cut twice. Uh, Grayson Cemetery, we've had two burials this month. And uh, that's all cleaned up. It looks good. However, Thompson Hill, I have an issue with Thompson Hill. And Thompson Hill has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven yucca plants. Oh. They get larger, they get larger, they get larger. They get intrusive. They get intrusive. So I asked Mike yesterday mm -hmm. how to get rid of this. She says that the roots on these go for ill. Yeah. So the only way to get it is they get a back hole, dig down, and pick it up. Mm -hmm. And the whole clump. And then Use some kind of uh, killer, weed killer, grass killer, whatever, yeah. to put into that depression and then fill it in the floor. So, are these old graves? Yeah. Old Thompson Hill. Do uh, you think there's any relatives left? That we... Well, the thing I mean, is, that's, a, that's an important question. The thing is that uh, you can't see the monuments. They're covering the monuments. Yeah. Up. As you enter the right portion, right near the golf course of Thompson Hill, on the right hand side, yeah. there's two as big as this table. Wow. Yeah. So I think what you have to do is put the violation yeah. form on it for one month. Just, these are 18, 18 something. I would anyway, just in case, because then we've then we've done yeah. what we said we were going to do. If there is any family, they might visit. But we can say we, we well, you can say. You can say on the Yaka plant. Yeah, I think I I think you should say, say get a state. put it put it out for one month. Yeah, I which is what we said we were gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna put that down. And I'll take care of that. I'll put that out uh, tomorrow. Okay, so uh, so whose whose site is it? Oh, I don't know. I didn't take down the name, but I will. And then what I'll do is mm -hmm. I'll give you the name. Uh, okay, tomorrow. I think we need to have a name. Yeah. When you when you put it out, we'll say. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put so. it out. I mean, just, we'll, just we'll, we'll, put it off. we'll put it on the violation. Yes. I mean, we're talking now eight foot tall. Easy. Wow. Eight foot. Yes. Beautiful. But, but yeah, invasive. They, they just, they, they're invasive. Right. They just go and go. However, I did look it up and I can make booze out of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. 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 The only thing is, it's very, very starchy. Oh. It's like a potato, you know. Hey, we well, make potato, right? Make potato moonshine, so white not <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but I do think you need to put the violation out just to protect yeah. yourselves. Yeah, we. So uh, I I would say that uh, Haskins Cemetery is fine, Richmond is fine. Because Haskins is on 79, so it's trash yeah. all the time. Always. Yeah. They throw bottles and cans and everything, don't they? Everything. Everything. Sad. With, uh, and I get it too across the street, but it, you know, there's uh, McDonald's, Star Drive In, Dairy Queen, and then of course all the nips. I live one nip away from services because my mom is full of nips all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's the reason for it, so you can drink and drive, throw it out of the car. Throw it out yeah. the window? Yeah. Uh, oh, and I drove by Clark and uh, Pond Cemetery. And those are always nice. Yeah. yeah.
Uh, I have an appointment to show lots at Stowbridge on Thursday. Okay. And a woman wants to buy multiple lots. Uh, and I'm having trouble getting onto the site to cloud it. So make us know. You want me to go? Sure. Okay. That would be great. It's 3 30 on sure. Thursday. 3 30 Thursday. Yeah. That's a beautiful cemetery. Oh, it's gorgeous. Sure, that's why they chose it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. The surroundings. It's beautiful. You know, because as soon as a warehouse favorites. gets built next door, it'll be different. But... Okay, I uh, I have to call. I won't do it now, but I have to call John Pink because he has our chart. Um, and that's what you need, that chart. Get the one he has. Okay. But in the interim, I do have a small one I can bring. Yeah. And so we can show her where. Yeah. This, well, it's only one side. She can't go on the other side. So yeah. there's only one side. Yeah. You need to have that chart too. Yeah. So we're going to the town offices after this, right? Yes. To drop off, to drop off that. I'll get the one that's in the file in town office okay. and I'll print us two copies. Excellent. All right, so you would have that. Excellent. Until we get our regular chart. Yeah. Yeah, I keep trying to get onto that site. I, I can't, they tell me this. You do not have an account. So I'm either I'm putting it in wrong or something. Okay, so. You, you are on it, I mean. Yeah, I know I am, but I, it won't let. Is my username my email, or is it just my name? I don't know, I have to go back and look at it. <laughs> okay. I have to go back and look at it. But. Definitely, definitely appreciate some help with it. Well, so new were you me. ever on it? No. No. Fred was, originally, and I was. And you never were. I was not. Is that because you don't want it? No, I just never was on it. <laughs> okay. But I'll take care of that today. Okay. Let me call that. Uh, I'm going to give him a call instead of going on the computer and doing it. I'm just going to call him. Yeah, sounds good. Because you need that. Yes, I do. All right. You have anything else, Ken? Um, I don't. Do you have anything? I do. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> Two things. What were what were you saying that uh, Leah, the town, uh, you know Leah? Yeah, Slipman. Yeah, she asked why we don't have a vice chairman. All the other committees oh. have vice chairman. I said we didn't do a vice chairman. Oh, we can. So, huh? We can. Yeah. And also appointed her as the reporter. Okay. So do you want to handle those two yeah. items? Yeah. Uh, so I don't think I'm supposed to make the motion, so I'm not. Uh, so would you make a motion to uh, make you vice chair? Okay. And I will second that. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. And what do we do with John? Make her the official, what do they call that? Recording secretary? Recorder. Yeah. Okay. Cemetery Commission Reporter. I think that would be the backup person to the town minutes data. Yeah. For meetings like last month's where it didn't work. Right. So there's a backup person with the yes, minutes? Yes, absolutely. So cemetery commission report. Okay, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So now we have fulfilled our obligation. Yeah. Okay, uh, are we done? I have nothing else. Okay. I'll hear a motion to- uh, I make a motion, we adjourn.
Okay, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The uh, motion passes and we're done.